Hi, so today I'm going to show you a really quick, simple, easy recipe. We're doing chocolate fudge, but we're doing a Rocky Road version. It's a really nice recipe to make if it's Christmas time. You can just chop it up and give it as gifts in a cute little box. And it's also really easy and quick to make with your children. So I definitely recommend trying this one. For this recipe, all you need is 500 grams of chocolate, 400 grams of condensed milk, 50 grams of butter, and then you need 150 grams of marshmallows, 100 grams of pecans, and about 80 grams of chocolate coated honeycomb. All you do is in your pan, you add your butter, the condensed milk, and your chocolate. And we're just gonna put that on a medium to low heat because you don't want it to burn at the bottom. The chocolate is already starting to melt and you just wanna keep mixing it. The last thing you want is for it to burn on the bottom of the pan. Once your mix is done, you can transfer it into a bowl because you don't want to melt the marshmallows on the heat. So that's nearly all melted now. I'm going to keep mixing it. Once it's very nearly melted, I'm going to uh, take it off the heat and let the chocolate just melt in the heat. You can also do this in the microwave, actually. If you want to just put all the ingredients in the microwave, give it 30 seconds, give it a mix, 30 more seconds, give it a mix. You can also do it that way, but that obviously feels a little bit like a cheat. So that's ready to come off the heat. I'm going to turn the heat off. And I'm just going to mix to melt and combine all of this. There's a few tiny, tiny bits of chocolate in there, but actually that doesn't matter because we're making Rocky Road fudge. Those tiny bits of hard chocolate will be quite nice. It'll add a different texture to it. So I'm going to now transfer that into my bowl. And I'm just going to add my 100 grams of pecans. Well, I'm going to keep a few back for the top. Then we're going to add our marshmallows. Again, keeping a few back for the top. And then you just really quickly give this a mix. Making sure that you don't over mix it because the marshmallows will just melt and they'll go stringy. So I've got a tin here. And this is like a reusable baking sheet, but you can just use grease with paper. I'm just going to pour the mix on top of that. Then you want to make it really flat um, and dense, just like fudge would be. So you just want to push down, getting into the, all the edges. You can also add some glacé cherries to that. That would be quite nice. Bits of, uh, bits of biscuit would be nice in there as well. So then we're just going to top this now with a little bit of decoration. So some marshmallows on the top there, spacing them out. And then the best bit, this is the honeycomb. I'm just going to take a chopping board. I'm now going to take some honeycomb and I'm going to put it in this food bag. And we're going to just crush it up so that you can actually see the honeycomb. Then ideally you'd have a rolling pin, but we're just going to use this uh, salad spoon. And you just want to crush up that so that you can see the actual honeycomb inside those. You could use a, um, like a honeycomb chocolate bar. That would work just as well. So now I'm just going to use that and then just sprinkle that on top. It's really rustic, really homemade recipe this. Um, but it does honestly make the cutest little gift if you've got some nice gift boxes. Chopped it up, put it inside. I'm just going to whack that in the fridge now to set a little bit. I'm just going to push these down a little bit more as well, make sure they're stuck. And then I'm going to take it out and chop it and show you what it looks like inside. Okay, so my fudge has just come out of the fridge and I'm now going to chop it up and serve it in a cute little bowl and have it with a cup of tea. So you just want to, it's quite hard once it's been in the fridge. So I've chopped all my fudge um, and they're in perfect, maybe two bite sized pieces. Um, if I just show you one, so you've got all of the delicious fillings in there, marshmallow, there's some pecan nuts, butterscotch is on top. So what I'm going to do is, like I said, if you want to give this as a gift, just get a cute little box, some tissue paper. If you're serving it at home, cute little bowl, and maybe some cute little paper bits in there. And then just completely fill your bowl with the delicious fudge. 
And people will think this has taken you a long time over a hot stove, but actually it's a super quick and easy recipe. There you go, there you have it. There's my super quick and easy Rocky Road fudge. Don't forget if you make this at home to upload your pictures and use the hashtag Baking with Alana. I'd really love to see your creations. If you put different things in, I'd love to see that. Let me know what you've put in yours. And also don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channels. And that's it. Have a good day. Okay, bye.